since I opened this ukulele channel, many of you have been quite clear about one thing and one thing only. Do you like Loji? Do you use Loji? How about using the Loji? Why don't you use a Loji? OMG doesn't use Loji. Why don't you teach us with a Loji? Loji? Loji. So it looks like there is a lot of hype around this Loji thing. And of course, I'm gonna try it. I got two ukuleles. I'm gonna put low G on one ukulele. Now I got myself a lovely low G ukulele string. You see this? Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how I like to change the strings to make it nice and quick. And also I'm gonna tune for seven hours because you know that nylon strings take ages to stretch. And then once we have that, we're gonna put the low G to test and taste. Hopefully I'm gonna like it. Now, before we change the string store, let's just talk about something pretty interesting. Why are there so many people playing with low G? Why is the low G so popular? And what's the difference between playing with the low G and the standard ukulele tuning? You see, the tenor uke is tuned like this. We have the G, C, E, and A. The fourth string though, the G, is tuned one octave higher, which is known as a re-entrant tuning. The re-entrant tuning occurs when the strings are not tuned from the lowest pitch to the highest pitch. Let me give an example with the guitar. If I play the sixth string of the guitar, the sixth string open of the guitar, I have what we call the E2. Now we call it E2 because this note, this particular pitch, is the second E of a piano. Now after the E, we have the note A, which is the A2. Now this note is higher in pitch than the E. If I play the fourth string, it's called D3, which is the third D we find on the piano. Now the D is higher in pitch than the A. Then we have the G3, which is higher in pitch than the D, B3, which is higher in pitch than the G, and the E4, which is higher in pitch than the B. This is known as a linear tuning, which occurs when all the strings are tuned from the lowest pitch to the highest pitch. Now with the ukulele, things are a little bit different because we have G4, C4, E4, and A4. So you can already see that the, the fourth string which it's supposed to be the lowest, in this case the G4, is actually higher in pitch than the third string, which is the note C. So we have G4 on a piano, and then C4 is actually on the left, meaning that it's lower in pitch. Then we have the note E, which is still lower than the fourth string. And then finally the first string, the A, which is higher than the G. Now for some ukulele player, this could be annoying because we miss that nice and low G, which we can't really play on a standard ukulele tuning. So by using a low G set of strings, we are bringing this G all the way down to a G3. So from G4 to G3. Now I like to change the strings using this thing, which is pretty helpful. Uh, you can wind the strings with this one. It's pretty awesome and quick. And you can cut the strings with this. Cool thing. Now what I usually do guys, I will just uh, wind just a little bit, all the strings, cut them off. That's it, super quick. So string one is gone. Let's open this packet and let's see these are the strings of course now this is the fourth string absolutely we can see that it's basically just like a classical guitar string they also give you a, a color code red blue green and white let me put these strings on and i'll be back in a sec <laughs> Oh, 
Okay guys, it was a long journey, but we made it. Finally, the low G is here. And we're gonna try it right now. We're gonna do a little bit of tuning, and then we're gonna try this ukulele with the low G. What's up people is the next day. Another day tuning the new strings. Now, a few things. I've been tuning yesterday the whole day and today as well this morning. Uh, it's 9 a.m. right now, so it's pretty early, but I've been tuning for the past half an hour. Now, the ukulele is not in tune yet. There is also another thing that I'm really upset about is the fact that the C string is broken. And I'm gonna show you what I mean in a second. Now, let me know if I'm tuning this ukulele uh, wrong because I have no idea. This is the very first time I'm tuning. I've been doing a little bit of research about the low G and I think I'm tuning and tuning the ukulele in the right way, but the C string just doesn't sound right. So let me just grab the uke, switch on the cameras and let's get started. What is it? What is it? What is it? Maki Belitsa Fellas, let's just give it another quick go. If you noticed all the examples that I played throughout the video, they were played without the C string. Um, so right now I'm tuned like this. I have the fourth string is a G3. The C is a C4, which I think is the right thing to do. Then we have E4. And then we have A4. I mean, it's pretty standard. But there's something wrong with the C string. It's completely broken, so I can't really play that much. But let me just share with you what I think about low G. Now, first things first, I think it's an awesome option. I like it a lot. I like to have this deeper tone on the ukulele. I also like the fact that now we can play a scale starting from the low G all the way up to the A string. And I'm sorry for the C string, it, it just sounds awful. But you see, it's nice. It's more like a guitar, so I really, really like it. I also like the fact that we can play chords with a you know deeper, deeper bass. Now, do I like it? Yes. Is it my favorite thing? Absolutely not. I still prefer the high G, the standard ukulele tuning. And the reason for that is very simple. When I first played a ukulele for the very first time, it was actually this Makai. Um, I strummed the first chord and I just fell in love with this instrument. Like I knew that I was in love with the instrument the moment I strummed the very first thing. It sounds nice, bright, light, balanced as well. It's just the sweetest thing to play. Now, I thought that I would also like the low G because with the low G, the ukulele would still sound like a ukulele. But I have the feeling that now it doesn't sound like a ukulele anymore. It sounds more like a guitar. So I really like it. And yes, it's still out of tune. I gotta change the strings, buy a way better set of strings. Um, but you know, I like the option. I like the fact that it's 
more like a guitar, and I'm definitely gonna use it, I'm gonna do a few tutorials, but it's not my favorite thing. Also guys, I think that the high G kind of really opened up a lot of different possibilities that are not possible with a linear tuning. So of course I have two ukes, I'm gonna definitely keep the low G and I'm gonna do a few tutorials for you guys because I know that many of you love it. So I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna keep experimenting with this tuning. Is it my favorite? Absolutely not. Am I gonna keep using it? Absolutely yes. Now enough about me guys talking all the time. I wanna know a little bit about you. Let me ask you three things. First of all, did you ever have troubles with a set of strings? Did you ever experience a broken C string? And most importantly, do you think I'm doing something wrong? Do you think this C is not broken? It's just me, you know, tuning the thing wrong. Second thing, which ukulele do you own? Do you prefer a soprano, tenor, concerto, or a baritone ukulele? And last but not least, do you prefer the standard ukulele tuning or the low G tuning or any other tuning? Also guys, really important, let me know if you like this kind of videos. Of course, I'm gonna keep teaching you uh, the ukulele on this channel, but sometimes I like to share other things. I like to share some of the things in my you know, private life as well. I love my son and I love to share it here. Um, but I also love to share what I do. For example, I could just buy the low G and try it in this room by myself. But the fact that I'm able to share it with you, it's actually pretty exciting. So let me know if you like this type of videos so that I can make more. Now make sure that you have a nice rest of the day. I'll see you soon.